And with that, welcome to part 27. Now, everybody, it's time to play that special game of Everything You Know Is Wrong. Wrong end, that is. What's the matter? Uh, was you screaming like a psychopath? Was that you? Hmm? Uh, yeah. Suspiciously specific denial, my friend. Except he's actually very calm about it. He's not like, you know, answering right away like most people would. Now, for this one, we're just going to assume that Kizami used the dark side. As in? You know. I don't need your identification. <laughs> uh oh. Um. And, oh, interesting, huh? That's new, kind of. How pitiful? He's like, but, but, yeah, but then he's like, oh wait, I wonder what sort of face she'd make if I forced her to go right here. But then he's like, wait, pitiful? Did I say pitiful? You did. Yes, you did. Quite clearly. Even though the word would probably be pathetic in your eyes. No, but he literally said pitiful. And now she's on the ground. Huh? What? Nani? <laughs> and this is where that other dialogue from the main story, or least from the other choice, would come into play right here. Where she decides to go search for Satoshi by herself. You're rather brave, Yuka, all things considered, but then again, the alternative is not looking too sweet either. Mm -hmm. I just like how it goes like that. I can just imagine the sheer look of terror on her face. Oh dear, I hear that heartbeat. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Basically, this wrong end does play uh, the same as some of Chapter 5, at least most of it, but with some noticeable differences. Uh, yeah, wasn't you kicking your friend down there? Or, or well... <laughs> At least Kurosaki uh, f believed that he was Kizami's friend. And I cut the scene out. Of just, you know, the chase. No, of uh, her getting kicked and Kurosaki's epic punch. Because we've already saw that scene, it was unchanged. Ah. Uh. Even so, ouch. That must have been one hell of a kick. I've heard kicking the dog, but this is ridiculous. Uh, protect. Uh, that, that's a fine word to use, especially considering you're staying over your former friend who you dissected. Yeah. This is more or less, this is what's become Kizami's little motif, actually. Oh god, just science lab? Aperture science? We do it because we must, because we don't want. At this point. Except for the ones who are dead. 
Like I said, he'll protect you by killing you himself. Yeah, a place where you die over and over and over again. You die. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, run away! <laughs> oh, that smile! Even on the sprite, it looks fucking creepy. Yeah. So uh, I, I, do, I do give my best effort. Uh oh. See? If we try to go for the key where Sachiko <laughs> would be, we'd be trapped. Uh, uh, I give my best effort. But then, I get, then I get caught on purpose. Uh. By just doing this? No. I'm still creeped out by the fact he constantly taunts her. And you can even see the candle that would normally be lit. But it's extinguished. <laughs> even though it's in her sprite, she's even missing sh her shoes. I I'm just going to figure that the, you know, the shoes that prevent you from getting poisoned are slippers more or less. Well, then again, sucks. then again, we can just pretend that she doesn't go th through that stuff. Let's, pre let's just pretend, because this is optional. But yeah, this is where I get caught. On purpose, even though technically he shouldn't be able to walk through it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna get caught. I got you! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Best voice clip in the game. Got you! <laughs> oh. Oh lord. But that's not the end. And by the way, pretty much what happens to Yuka in Tortured no. Souls more or less follows through on what happens in this wrong ending. Somewhat. And as you can tell, we don't get a choice in the matter. Yeah. Because we did it wrong. Now besides, even if you, if, you, if you choose it correctly, you, you get the wrong end regardless, even if you manage to escape. So he's like every man for himself. Yeah, this is rather selfish of you, Yoshiki, considering how selfless you've been throughout the whole course of the journey. <laughs> Ouch. Gee. Hot coin kettle black here, aren't we? Yikes. In fact, in Tortured Souls, he does stay behind. At first. Yeah, he's just gonna go all out here. He's calling her out. Damn. Uh, you should actually. <laughs> so yeah, he was he was hoping that this whole thing would have been his chance for her to notice him. But alas. I wouldn't put it past her, actually. 
No, I wouldn't. Actually, I didn't think he nailed it on the head. And yet you're still trying to rationalize everything. But then again, part of it is true. She does want to go back for her friends. And Yuki's just kind of saying out, having a buzz at this point of actually being in the real world. Meh. <sighs> Never split up the party. She's beyond caring. Yeah, you me, you're, you're kind of a bitch. I'm not going to argue with that. No, I said kind of. Uh, you're going to change your words. I'm, I'm sure of it. I, I'm aware I will be, and I'll be eating them too. But still, her actions are entirely selfish. <laughs> like, screw this. Again, I'm, he's like, screw this. I'm out of here. Then again, Yoshiki's no different because they're not that different in reality. Yeah. あ。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。みんな。み
も連れてってくれ。また逃げるところだった。In fact,、uh, when Kizami is torturing Yuka, he does return at the last minute to pretty much finish him off. Because, like I said before, he becomes the anatomical model, Kizami. <laughs> Now I let her upstage me. She's moved by that. But now, it, could, it could be too little too late. And now, we're in. A text. That's new. Yeah, you still have those service. But as I said、um, before, Yoshiki does return in the nick of time to save Yuka from her getting killed outright. Even though, in the end, it results in his own death. Yeah, in tortured souls, of course. Now, here, I imagine, will be fairly gruesome. Well, you'll see it for yourself. <laughs> Come quickly and send. Hey, she comments on, that, on this. That it was the first time she ever responded to a text message from him. And she's blushing. Maybe she, maybe she realizes that he wasn't wrong. Uh, but no, 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 no service still. Could be. <laughs> Trying to rationalize a place that's completely unrational or irrational. Because trust me, your head's gonna explode like that guy from Scanners by the end of it. Uh oh. This is where things go from bad to worse. Jimmy, I'll call us you. No, so I will get to you. Hey, when I got say, say, cuts, cut, I eat ten stay, he needs you. Kids, keep a you know, she no cure. But never in her 14 years. Nobody would expect it that early. Wow, you are a good psychoanalytical expert. But personally, I'm sick of your first year stu psych student bullshit.、Hmm. It's not all that different. Let's see, getting killed by a sociopath who is just as loopy as the Joker. But then again, he does have a point. Death is everywhere, every minute of every day. Oh, good. He's Soren from Star Trek Generations. Or that、uh, one guy from the Found Destination movies? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Therein lies the appeal. Can I appeal for my right to live? No.、Uh, uh, she's, she's not dead yet. Really? What are you getting at? Oh. And let me guess, you get off on this, don't you? Not exactly. Oh. In other words, you think that people are the most honest when they're 
at death's door. But, people are like that. If you think about it, you can tell it to be able to tell it. So are you practicing your scientific method like usual? But it looks like I wasn't that far off. <laughs> if you manage to avoid getting caught by Kizami, you don't get these scenes, obviously. Clear because getting caught is instant bad end and it just goes from there. Yeah. So even foolish enough to kill themselves. I guess he is fascinated by it in one way or another. So you're a death doctor, huh? Well, oh, like I said, he, he, remember what I just said? Yeah. That people are the most honest and the most vibrant at death's door? Oh, yeah, that's an example. I don't think so. He must. I think he was just terrified of his life. <laughs> terrified for his life. And absolutely, probably furious <laughs> I didn't stop you earlier. Oh, God. You're not. You're not. Uh, oh my god, no. In fact, I think in the manga it's even worse. <laughs> I don't think I want to go to details on that. But, uh, yeah, it tortured souls when she gets locked in the science lab while running from <laughs> Sachiko, actually. That's why Kizami reveals himself as the anatomical model and starts torturing her. Pretty much stabbing her to within an inch of her life. Uh... And, uh, well, we could just assume Yuka's pretty well fucked. Yeah, she is. But yeah, like Harsh I said, as to say, but yeah, but like I said, in the manga it's somewhat more disturbing. I, if I recall. Yeah. Huh? What's going on? Oh, she's frightened. <laughs> After all that bluster. Figures. Well, thing is, yeah. in character. Yeah, why'd you come back alone? Yeah, I never split up the party. No, it wasn't that. It's the fact that you more or less forced yourself to come here alone. You weren't. Yeah, well, that's you, why I wonder. You were not willing to listen. I guess you could say Tortured Souls as a whole is like one big wrong end. Except only where only two of the nine survive. Now that I think about it. Oh, it's now a student ID. Yep. So thus, all remains is for her to find them. And then it goes from there to uh, watching the first tape from Kibiki. This music seems way too upbeat. 
Oh, well, then again, it was a remix from PC-98. Meanwhile... And, uh-oh. With more torture? <laughs> oh god. I think you can just imagine what he's actually doing to her. I don't want to think about it. Like I said, in Tortured Souls, he's stabbing her. He even stabs her eye up. God damn. I. Uh, uh, as if rubbing the point in. Well, then again, that's his M.O. Mind you, the very same voice actor for Kizami likes playing this game in his tub, in the dark, with a bag on his PSP. <laughs> And, uh, using food coloring on the bathtub, making it look like blood. Lots of stuff. That's definitely called getting into the roll, I say. <laughs> oh, God. You're not Roger Smith. Uh, huh? What the? Oh, Yoshikazu! Uh oh. Bye-bye. That's even worse. Uh... Oh god. You're helpless before the guy who killed everyone else. She doesn't know yet. Uh, he's kind of a zombie. I think that would be a good sign to book it. Hmm? What the... He's not attacking her right, uh, right away. The fuck? But it's not until Sachiko <laughs> enters that things change. Of course. Oh. Yeah, he, uh... So, new haircut, huh? Oh, uh, crap. Oh, and we black out before we see what happens. What the? Oh, back in the custodian's closet when he wakes up from being hit by that ceiling beam. And he gets to have the standard grope. Well, then again, unintentional. He was unconscious, what do you expect? And he's just, just barely trying to focus his thoughts again. I will say this much, it does cut out, th this wrong end does cut out roughly half of the chapter. Well, then I, I cut more of that out, actually, with editing. Uh, he's like, uh, wait, huh? Uh, oh, crap! <laughs> Uh, uh, it was uh, it's not what it looks like! Nomi, Smile, Siona, Ivanoa! Steak, huh? Satoshi, Atama, Taishobu. I think you just mostly woke her up. That's all you did. Hariga, Atama, you would stick it. Chiga, go, okay, kid. For different reasons. Like it's her turn to be somewhat oblivious. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, that's the, it's his it's his excuse that he's sticking to it. Yeah, I was just manipulating the buttons and stuff because I think pressing the circle button does hide the dialogue box. Ah, I think. 
Don't worry, we don't get to see the tape again. Meanwhile, on Believe It or Don't. Strange but true. Mysteries of the Occult. Yeah. Or stories of the occult, whatever. Never to exist in a on a TV station near you. Ever again. Trust me, if you thought uh, this wrong end ends rather brutally, well, wrong end number six is rather unique. I'll say that much. Uh, yeah, th though I gotta say, this one's kind of... Detailed. Yeah. Like I said, this is the best wrong end of the game. Somehow that sounds like an oxymoron that I don't really want to contradict, nor do I want to go into. No, I'm serious. This is the best, um, bad ending. It's okay. The, it's the most detailed, and it even showcases several different sprites that we don't get to see in the main story. Huh. I even mean, I'm impressed by the amount of detail that went into this ending. And around this point, we would normally be right. running into... Uh, we'd have Ayumi coming down by this way. And Yoshiki. But the next scene for us omits, omits uh, everything related to Yoshiki's dialogue. And let's say it gets... When she does see the two of them, well, you'll see. She immediately gets jealous and loses her shit. Well... You'll see. Speaking of it, oh, there she is. Mochida-kun! <laughs> uh, I, I have a very uncomfortable feeling about this. That music is extremely ominous, or that beat. The, um, the ambience. Uh oh. And that's exposition. Exposition off screen. For audience conveniences. But with everything related to Yoshiki omitted. <laughs> so, so yeah, obviously they tell her about um, Seiko, but she doesn't react to it apparently because it was Yoshiki who would react. <laughs> No, this is her still giving that um, speech of hers. That's not going to be possible, I'm afraid. No, I'm afraid not either. Yeah, we're not going to find Yuka. At least not her current state. Alive. Because at this point, I think it's quite obvious she's dead. Mm -hmm. But yeah, nor does this scene more or less plays out just like it did in the main story, except we do not get the marble statue, obviously. So thus, the way to the infirmary is locked. So in short... No way around it. No. Nope. Which means there is no way to salvage a good ending out of this, or at least a true ending. Nope. Doesn't appear to be. But of course, they left out the most important part. The method. Yeah, 
I will say this much, in Tortured Souls, Ayumi is not, you know, as obsessed with uh, Satoshi as she is in this wrong ending. She, at least she doesn't try to do anything crazy. That's true, it doesn't. And I will mention this much again. If you do not bother grabbing all of Naho's notes, you will find out what happens when you try to do the reverse Sachiko charm before appeasing her. I imagine it will be just as fun as everything else that... that uh, actually, it won't. You'll see. Yeah, I, I will. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you'll, yeah, you'll see in part 29. Oh, I'm just hanging off the edge of my seat. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. I, 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 you, me. No. とにかく協力して頑張ろう。俺たちは坂内方について探りながら。ゆかやみんなを探すから。篠崎は由井先生たちを探してくれ。揃ったらここに戻ってこよう。待ち合わせだ。Or at least somewhere. I doubt they're going to be in one piece. いいんと。気をつけてね。中島さん。うん。あんまり。Oh, She didn't. She even she didn't realize how they would react. How is she supposed to react? Maybe you should just be happy he's alive. You, you can try going after him after the whole thing's done with. But then again, is the issue with Naomi? Mm. Oh. Yeah. yeah, you kind of forgot that. Yeah, that, that will end well, I imagine. Find her tongue. Hmm. They won't be able to. Of course not. They don't even get a chance to appease her. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys next time for more happiness. Yeah. <laughs>